Hi everybody! I just wanted to let you know that this is the last bottle of this collection. After the tutorial, I'll show you how I set them up and give you a view of all of them all together so you get a good look at that. So see you after the tutorial and hope you enjoy! Welcome back to DIY No Need to Cry with Ivelisse. DIY decoupage wine bottle with rhinestones. What I used, all items are listed in the description box. I first soaked my bottle in hot water and dish soap until the labels detached. Then I scraped off whatever was left with dish soap, a scrub pad, and or a stationary knife. Place in the sink upside down to dry. Once that dried, I painted the whole bottle with white acrylic paint and a round sponge brush. Let that dry and give it another coat. While that dried, I cut the tissue into four sections. And wetting my fingertips, I separated the plies of tissue paper. Using a clean paintbrush and water, I roughed up the edges but left the sides that I was going to connect as is. Once the bottle was dry, it was time to glue the tissue. Using a brush, I put Mod Podge on the bottle, placed the tissue, and then covered it with more glue. By this bottle, I knew what I was doing, but if this is your first time decoupaging, let each piece of tissue dry before placing the next.
Once all the pieces are dry, using a stationary knife, I cut the tissue that was on the bottom of the bottle off. I wanted to touch up any spots that didn't connect properly, so I brought a piece of the napkin to Lowe's and a nice young man mixed me some paint to match my napkin color exactly. If you're watching, thank you, it was a perfect match. Once all that was dry, I painted the neck of the bottle using a brush. I marked where I didn't want the paint and then filled the rest in. Then I did the very top and let that dry. I then painted the cork and let that dry. I then added the rhinestones. All the sizes I used are listed in the description box. I then gave the whole bottle a coat of Mod Podge, and when that dried, I sprayed it with a triple thick glaze. I then added all my rhinestones to the bottle, and you're done! Thank you.
is I'm going to take these books and I'm going to put them in the indents of the cabinets and then I'm going to put the cardboard over that so that the bottles can sit nicely on top of that. And because I have this ugly pipe right here, I took a shoe box and I painted it with white acrylic paint and I'm just going to cover that up. And that should do it. and I hope that you enjoyed all the other ones as well. Um, these bottles turned out to be really symbolic to me because as I was making the last one I realized something that in one week I will be two years sober and clean. So when I used to look at bottles I used to think uh, of all the bad memories uh, that you know would remind me of all the things I would do and did while I was uh, under the influence and all the bad things that happened to me and all the things that I did. So making this collection turned out to be something really good for me because now when I look at a bottle, I don't think of all the bad memories. What I do think about is, uh, wow, look, uh, I wonder what I could make with that bottle or, you know, all my creative juices are flowing and I associate it with positivity now. You know, I associate it with my crafting. So, yeah, this turned out to be really good for me and I'm very proud of myself for reaching my two year sobriety and for making these bottles because I think they came out really, really, really nice. I hope you guys really enjoyed them as much as I did. So, thanks again for watching you guys don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet uh, it really does help my channel out you guys are being awesome I'm literally like one person away from 200 subscribers I can't thank you enough you guys are awesome so until the next time you guys remember do it yourself there's no need to cry bye